Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Around the world, rice is the major food crop consumed by people, especially in Asia. For every kilogram of rice harvested, 1 to 1.5 kilograms of rice straw is produced. These rice straws are abundant plant dry matter waste materials. Usually, the rice straws are simply burnt in the fields to get rid of the waste. But this causes pollution and affects health. But you might ask us, what does the burning of rice straw have to do with the topic for today? Well, in order to avoid the waste problem without affecting the environment, rice straws are converted into bioethanol. So, what is bioethanol? Like biodiesel, an alternative for diesel, which was our previous topic, bioethanol is an alternative for petrol in road vehicles. It is produced by the sugar fermentation process. Not only rice straws, but also corn, sugarcane, wheat, willow, poplar trees, reed canary grass, cord grass, Jerusalem artichoke, Miscanthus and sorghum plants can also be used for this sugar fermentation process. The sugar from these crops are used to produce ethanol which can be used as fuel. This bioethanol is a clear colorless liquid which is biodegradable in nature. It is non-toxic and burns to produce carbon dioxide and water. Also, bioethanol is added to petrol to oxygenate the fuel mixture so that it burns more completely and reduces emissions. In this blend, bioethanol has replaced lead as an octane enhancer because it is a high octane fuel. The most common blend is 10% ethanol and 90% petrol, which is denoted as E10. Vehicles running on E10 do not need any engine modification. Blends up to 85% ethanol and 15% petrol, represented as E85, can be used in flexible fuel vehicles. These flexible fuel vehicles run on more than one fuel. Before we start to talk about the production process, let's talk about the benefits of bioethanol. First up, it's a renewable resource because it is manufactured from crops. Bioethanol is considered carbon neutral. This means it emits the same amount of carbon as the crops previously absorbed for the photosynthesis process. On combustion, bioethanol emits a lesser amount of greenhouse gases and in case of fuel spill, it easily gets diluted and is non-toxic. In bioethanol fuel, high octane additives are reduced or even avoided. This is because bioethanol itself has a high octane rating. Now, in older vehicles, the carbon deposits are present in the engine block, due to which poor combustion occurs. On using bioethanol, which is a high octane rated fuel, almost complete combustion occurs and also reduces the amount of carbon monoxide produced. Bioethanol has got so many benefits. So, how is it produced? By hydrolysis and the sugar fermentation process, bioethanol is produced from biomass. Once the biomass is transported to the processing facility, in its first stage, it undergoes a pretreatment process. The feed system supplies biomass into a chamber. Here, with the help of steam and water, sometimes in the presence of chemicals, it is broken down into cellulose, hemicellulose, and lignin. In another approach, acid is used to break down the biomass into components. In its second stage, before the enzymes are added, they are cooled down and a base is added to balance the acidity. This is because enzymes can't operate under high acidic conditions. These enzymes perform a chemical reaction called hydrolysis. During this process, the enzymes break cellulose into glucose and the hemicellulose to xylose. Glucose and xylose are the sugar that are fermented into ethanol. The third stage is the fermentation process. Here, microbes such as yeast or bacteria are added to the mixture which digests the sugar and secrete compounds that can be used as biofuel. Now, the final stage is the distillation process. In this stage, water is removed from ethanol by the distillation process to be used as a fuel. The resulting ethanol is filtered and collected in a storage tank. We got to know how bioethanol is produced and their advantages. Shouldn't we be knowing about its drawbacks as well? So, let's list them out. The very first and an important drawback is, in order to produce large amounts of fuel, the number of arable land required to grow the crops is immense. This could see some natural habitats being destroyed. Next up, there's a concern that due to high income from bioethanol, some farmers may sacrifice food crops. This may lead to an increase in food price all over the world. Thirdly, there are debates over the neutrality of the carbon emission. Taking into consideration all factors like transportation, production, etc., the amount of carbon emitted is high. Next, the energy density of bioethanol is less when compared to petrol. One liter of ethanol produces only 34% energy of that produced by petrol. Ethanol is hygroscopic in nature. This means it absorbs water from air and this condition leads to corrosion of engine parts. So that's it for this video guys. Hope you learned something interesting. See you in the next one. Until then, bye.